Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how do you add watermark in ClipChap. So let's get into the video. Open up your ClipChap application. So once you've opened up your ClipChap application, so let's create a new video. Okay, I'm just click on create new video and then let me load any videos, a sample video for demo. I'll just choose this video here. All right, that video is fine. So I'll just click and drop it here. Okay, so I'm just waiting for it to load. So once once this is done, I'm going to bring it, click and drag it to my timeline here. Okay, so once I've got it, okay, this is the video I'm going to create the watermark for. Okay, so to add my watermark, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the watermark text. So on your left side here, you have the text option, click on it. So once you click on the text option here, click on plain text. All right, so just click on the add button here. So now, what I'm going to do, so click on, uh, click on the uh, plain text here. So double, so yep, so double, click on it, and then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my watermark. So whatever your watermark, just type it in. So I'm just going to put watermark for demo. All right. So that's it. So I'm just going to type that. All right. So that's my watermark here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the editing bit. So just select the, uh, uh, just select that. So the, uh, select the. Um, text so that it's uh, okay just make sure that it's in green so it's selected and then click on the edit option here I mean on the text box here so here you will have find all the editing tools here so you can edit change the font the font style everything the font size and anything whatever all the uh, editing you can do it here so just do that and then once you're done with that and also like the color so at the moment I, I want to leave it is in white but I want to leave it in white because it's I want to uh, because more mostly oh usually watermarks are in white or transparent so I'll just leave it in white so that's my watermark here so I'm going to so what you can do so I'm just going to leave it as it is. you can make all your changes you're editing here once you're done with it what you're going to do now is you can position it anywhere like uh, choose the uh, the I mean the size and everything once you have done with the resize and then like we'll click on it and then move around wherever you want to position it so I'm just going to position it for in the in in my on, on the center i'll just leave it on the center just for demo so it's visible so now i'm going to create the watermark effect so what i'm going to do now is click on the text back here and now what i'm going to do here on the color option here so click on the color option and then you'll see the percentage sign here that's the opacity's uh, percentage so reduce it to 20 or 30 something like that and now as you can see the visibility has reduced and now i can get the feel of a watermark field so if it's if you want it to be more visible so what you can do you can put it to like 30 percent or 40 percent so whatever that suits you so for example 35 so that's the one here so i'm going to play around and place it any way you want and as you can see so you have created like the watermark field and that's pretty much it is so you can just save this project and that's uh I hope this video is helpful to you guys and i will see you guys in another video thank you